this is German, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we're going to be checking out Siemens logo verb Sarah. What it is, how it works, uh, what can it do, how can you access it and uh, more or less we're going to be doing a, so, a small live test on our test rig uh, using our mobile phone by accessing a uh, logo for, or some of the logo functions from a uh, so-called web server. So, and also I'm gonna be showing a couple of issues I had uh, along uh, getting there to understanding some of the IP problems that I had. So, uh, for the average Joe, this is something that uh, a lot of us will, will be like, whoa. So, I will uh, point that out where I uh, was having a problem with. So, hopefully, if you're getting that problem and you're looking at watching this video now, you'll be like, hmm, that's the one. So, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Here we are, so first as you can see in that corner we have a little controller in here all powered up and obviously the controller needs to be connected to your network for obviously for obvious reason for uh, for obvious reasons so uh so yeah don't make sure that's the, that's the case so let's uh get a program out the first thing what i want to make a uh, point out of what i had problem is you can this ip address in there, as you can see 192.168.2.2.2 uh, in uh, in a, a uh, controller itself, you can set up pretty much whatever the address you want, as long as it's one nine two one six eight, and 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 you, and you can put zero point two and zero point three and zero and blah blah. That point is going to work very well uh, if you're con connecting just from one computer, or I have a literally direct uh, cable going from uh, from your controller to to your uh, to your laptop. But if you want to be in a network, you do want to make sure that your IP subnet which in my case is this number in here, the number two, the, uh, the first two in here, is equal to uh, whatever network, you, uh, wh wh how is how your home or work or whichever part of a network uh, this, is, uh, this is connected to. Because if you don't, and your subnet is not gonna match the, 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 net, the basic local network subnet, you will not be able to more or less access your controller from uh, let's say from your phone which is connected to you or to the router via wirelessly or from any other computer basically you'll be able to uh, access it from uh, one computer where you have a program on and you connected it and you created a different subnet you definitely don't want uh, the the controller uh, the siemens uh, logo software soft comfort to create uh, that subnet for you so do make sure to 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 so the have a look just basically and go in your router and have a look where all your uh, uh, all your uh, uh, network subnets are connected to what number so make sure that uh, two matches uh, so whatever number is here in your network or other IP so if you go in uh, let's just quickly uh, CMD and then uh, have a look like this computer so IP config so as you can see down here. Uh, where am I? As you can see, they are all sitting under. Uh, it's it, this is my computer in here. It sits under the subnet two. So I just want to make sure that my computer subnet is in uh, two. So when and plus when it comes down to accessing from re, uh, f uh, from uh, uh, remote connection, uh, when you come from a different uh, network, there is definitely a lot more needs to be done for you to. Uh, you basically you need to be part. You need to be logged into the network where the controller is connected to, because it will be part of the private network, not the internet. So uh, you need to find uh, I think uh, some additional. You just get an IT guy to somehow set you up so you can log into that network, and then by typing this IP address into your uh, browser, it should be able to take you to your controller. So. Uh, at first, at least uh, that's how I understand that work. But this particular system will only work in your local network. So here we go. So let's get the program out of it. So uh, that's uh, that's the program. Let's put it back in the run. So uh, once you created the program, so hopefully that get, helps you out when it comes down when you can't connect from other computers to it because your subnet is not right. So uh, and from there on, uh, go to file. I, at least that's how I do it. Properties. That's how I, I do it. So this is where you're. Uh, but by the way, this is a logo. Uh, uh, 8.3. In an upcoming video, I'm gonna show you when I'm gonna be updating my firmware for my uh, uh, for my uh, logo 
down there and which you'll see next screen now that I need to update the firmware for that one and also I will show you how to update your uh, old uh, logo soft from 8.2 to 8.3 how it needs to be done but first things first uh, we are working on this one today so uh, let's go for the online settings and then pretty much you need to uh, connect to that controller and in an online settings you need to go for the access controls let's put that in stop it connects to your uh, uh, thingy and in here so uh, the, the users uh, say what sort of access you want to uh, want to provide to a uh, to uh, remotely be accessed the controller remotely be accessed and just uh, pretty much activate which one you want I put every single one uh, on for a for a, for a testing purposes so, but usually you just need this guy in there uh, press allow enter the passwords and you should be uh, apply and you should be good to go and then obviously then uh, load them back into your AP uh, into your uh, logo once you just basically you just send it send it uh, send it uh, right in oh I got address in there already what am I doing what am I doing so I uh, just click it out anyway so uh, here we go and then you just would send it in and you pretty much are ready to go so now it's uh, as you can see it in here and another thing is which I did forget when you're creating your screens it is vital you click this web server in here so do make sure that is ticked otherwise you ain't gonna be able to see any of this uh, so this this setup will go in here on your web server so that's uh, when it comes down that's because it logo the end web server yes so that's that and once you uh, all load it in so you pretty much are uh, good to go so you need to do remember your uh, logo ip which is 192.168.1.1 as you can see you already know for it and there we go and it just takes you to this one so be do make sure guys make sure that the subnet is correct this is very crucial to make sure the subnets are correct now okay maybe from this computer because you're already going to create that uh, subnet for you but other computers won't be able to access because subnet for that network you are in is not correct so uh from there on just uh, i can't remember what i put something like that i don't know so from there on you just access into you and you pretty much have uh, access to your logo this is not we're gonna we're gonna check all this in in uh in uh, on, on our uh our phone as well by the way guys if you want to connect if you are part uh, part of a uh router which is wirelessly and you want to connect your laptop to an upload download programs and pretty much use this program in here uh, wirelessly you can do that no problem because he can you because uh, the, the, as long as the controller is connected to your network you will be able to access wirelessly as well when work like this in here or from any laptop as long as you're part of that network so uh from there on yeah it's just if you look at my tde which you already seen already so uh so I should be able to there we go you can edit this guy and uh, this is like my manual mode which you were seeing if you haven't seen the last video this is basically what we created and then it displays what's what's what and obviously you can create a lot more in there and there's another option you can have which is a a, a logo I think it's you create web pages and things like that but uh, and then you can go on a cloud and things like that but that's uh, we we're gonna look at it more or less in a uh, upcoming video so pretty much that's from the computer so uh, that's easy so let's uh, I don't know why I don't like the way all the numbers basically you can uh, correct those numbers how things are working then we can put on as you can see I put it in uh, automatic uh, mode and then turn automatic mode so you can interact whatever you have set it up on uh, to be interactive from logo TDE as well. So that's from this computer. So let's jump on the actual uh, actual uh, our system down here and play around with it, uh, play, play, play around with it from our mobile phone. Here we are. So uh, as you can see, there's a screen. I fixed it up a little bit. Numbers are all nice and order now. So to access it, go to Safari, not to Google Chrome or whatever other you want. Just go straight to Safari and edit in there to make sure you're connected, obviously, by Wi-Fi. As you can see, I'm barely connecting to my Wi-Fi because, oh, there's two lines now because I'm quite far away from it. So again, the IP address 192, not 183, 192. And yes, yeah, so let's go in there and it will take you straight to this website on your phone as well. So again, provided your subnets are all correct. So uh, let's log in. And from there on, pretty much is everything you can do where well, you already access from a uh, from your a uh, computer as well. You can do it from the phone uh, in your own comfort again. So here's our uh, TD screen. So and it's pretty much is displaying there everything you want, you can there, and you also are 
able to uh, control your IOs in here if you wish to. If you're going in here, then uh, obviously there's uh, yeah, the small screen down there. And then if you go into for, for variables, so you can see that they are being playing uh, around. So what we're going to do in here, so this belt in here at the moment has got no uh, relay connected to it. And I've got nothing set up in the program. As far as I understand, let me just try it out. So you can, if the queues have been assigned to something, something else is assigned to it already. It didn't work, so let's check it out. So, and then obviously to activate it in here, just you just add one. So that will be to modify. Oh, it does work, as you can see. Oh, it did work. I thought it didn't. So there we go. So uh, you can activate your iOS if you want to remotely from your phone, as long as you're connected to the network. And let me just change that to uh, zero. Not oh. Zero. And there we go. So uh, this is pretty much how you can change your uh, to connect your variables, and you can obviously uh, edit and monitor your uh, analog signals, and so on and so on. That's pretty much giving you a bit of an gist of how, what can you do with uh, your uh, logo. The one thing is, on a computer, I can edit this value in here, but for whatever reason, on a phone, as you can see in there, when I click, come on, zoom into that one. So when I click on it, I can't. Just where probably I don't know why. So here you go. No, I'm not. Ooh, it does show it clicks on it. Let's see, maybe it opens up. But whatever reason, I cannot. As you can see, my network is really slow. So if I see if I click on it, it it takes a time for him to register what I did. So oh no, he just lost the connection to it. So, but that, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, what can be done with your log web server. So do check it out. It's a really cool thing. And as long as you are part of the network, uh, logged in into the network, you should be able to access it simply by with IP address. And that will do for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, this helps you out and gives you better understanding how the system works and get you uh, on your way again there probably is way to access it remotely by uh, external way giving you access to the network itself i'm not risked with that department so i'm not even going to comment on that so this is mainly for more or less for our uh, uh, local connection only so that ladies and gentlemen will do thank you very much for watching if you like the video don't forget to smash that like subscribe if you like what we're doing here and i will see you in the next video